coat works incredibly for keeping your take-home food warm on those cold days when you have blocks to walk and you want a nice warm dinner. You don't have to reheat it, you just put it in your sleeping bag coat and it's warm when you get there. It's definitely a conversation piece, for sure. I mean, yeah. People come up to me like, I mean, not so much in New York, but if you wear them like other places, like outside of New York, they're like, what? That? Ah, that's some kind of coat you have. What kind of coat is that? Like, where did you get that coat? Yeah, I love it. I have I have no qualms about having this coat, and it was a gift to me. It was one of the nicest gifts a person could ever receive. My favorite story is though, it's like whenever you encounter another person in a sleeping bag coat, it's like Volkswagen owners, and you're like instant friends, and you've got something in common. It's the biggest sorority fraternity all over organization going, the sleeping bag coat club. Okay, about two months after I bought the coat, I was at a girlfriend's house, we were having dinner, and we were, we had finished dinner, and we were just sitting around having dessert and stuff, and her cat proceeded to have babies on the coat in the other room, in her bedroom, we were in the living room. And like the cat had been like really wild all night, but we didn't understand what had been going on. And she knew the cat was whatever, but she wasn't really paying attention because she had dinner guests. It was, there was about seven people there or so. And um, the cat had babies on the coat. It feels like a portable futon. <laughs> Definite blanket. Yeah, blankets, blankets. Good for picnics. Mm -hmm. and Affairs. Uh, it, it, it goes with all of those things. You're always ready. <laughs> yes, that was the affair. So you and your boyfriend were outside. No, that's the problem. It wasn't my boyfriend. Oh. It's good in the movie theater because you feel like you're at home watching television with your comforter. Absolutely. I mean, I have gone into Bloomingdale's and taken out seven thousand dollars worth of eyeliner in this coat alone. <laughs> So practical it is. Because they're warm and lightweight and you don't feel a thing. It's greatest. Greatest. I love one in yellow. Lemon yellow. Another quite embarrassing situation with the sleeping bag coat. Walking into a tiny little restaurant with tiny little tables with tiny little aisles and walking by and knocking over someone's drink onto that person's lap. That is quite embarrassing because what happens is it gets so big and puffy. Well, I was uh, covering a news story on an aircraft carrier and the, uh, they brought the bow of the carrier into the wind and the wind caught into the coat and if it hadn't been for a fast sinking cameraman I probably would have flown in ahead of the uh, jet aircraft into, uh, into Norfolk so that uh, I think the uh, aerodynamics of the coat should be stressed also they're almost perfect I wear it to Secaucus, New Jersey <laughs> What do you like best about your coat? Everything. The color, the feel of it, the warmth. What does it feel like? Light. It's like wearing a pillow. It's like wearing, it is like wearing a, a big soft wear. pillow. It's wonderful. I love them. I, I adore it. I think it's the greatest thing I ever bought. Well, you asked me about my intimate experiences in my sleeping bag coat. I can't really tell you a lot, but I can say one thing. Thank God they're machine washable.